Welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano, with UMD. If this is your first visit to our channel I hope you subscribe to us. And go to watch the previous videos on the channel. And don't forget to leave your feedback down below in the comments. Let's start today's tutorial. Motion blur is something that can take a rather mechanical looking animation, and make it look much more lifelike. The thing to remember is that it's a two-step process to activate and render. Let me show you what I mean. I'll start by going down to the timeline panel and clicking once in the empty area to make sure that it's active. Press the space bar to preview the animation, and you can see the propeller blade is spinning. And even though it's not quite playing in real time, you'll notice that the edges of the propeller blades are still rather sharp. To add more realism, let's enable motion blur. I'll press the space bar to stop playback, and I'll go down to the timeline here and you want to make sure that this area of your timeline looks like this. If it doesn't you need to click the toggle switches in modes button, so you're not in modes that you're in switches. Now the layer where we want to enable the blur for is the blades layer. So I'll click on layer 2 the blades layer. And then I will go right here in the switches panel enable motion blur just for that one layer. Now the reason I'm not seeing anything in the composition panel, is because motion blur is rather rendered intensive. So you can enable motion blur for some layers and not for others. But to actually be able to see it and in turn to render it, we need to enable it in the timeline here at the top, and I'll click on the enable motion blur button here in the timeline, and now you can see the edges of the propeller blades are blurry. That's because the speed at which the blade is rotating has because that blur to be computed. So if we press the space bar to preview our animation, you'll notice not only do we have motion blur, but we'll also recreate that similar effect when you're watching something that spins really really quickly. It sometimes looks like it's running in the opposite direction. That simulation happens here as well. Now in this specific instance, we've been working with motion blur tied to the rotation around an object. But motion blur can be enabled for other things such as the position of an object moving. Just remember if you have an object moving quickly in the scene, you can always add a little more realism by enabling motion blur. And once you've activated motion blur for the layer, don't forget to go to the top of the timeline and activate motion blur is there so you can actually see it in the composition panel. Here we go. We are done for today. And also we have finished the animating essential course for Adobe After Effects. I will wait to see your comments to keep up on the channel here. If you find anything here on the channel you didn't like, please tell me to avoid these mistakes and make good content for you. Wait for more coming here on my channel Saskiano and my second channel Everything PS. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video was helpful for you to hit on the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell button on so you don't miss the next videos. And if you have time to learn more, look at the old videos on the channel. See you in a new video soon. Goodbye.